Well, good afternoon. Today we're going to metal tech down to the tree, a little bit to the to the left of the tree. I haven't done that field yet, so stay tuned. See its first good signal. Well, this is how I have the Equinox set up. Multi-channel field two. We're going to make our way down past this tree here, and probably a little bit over that way. Haven't been over that way yet. See what else we can find. Well, see it's the first good signal. Now well, here's our first signal. 17. It's jumping around a little bit. But let's see what we have. All right. Where did it go? There it is. We got ourselves a get in the camera. We got ourselves a coin. Yep, stay tuned, see what we have. You can see that target was a couple inches down in the ground. Oh my goodness, I got an Indian head penny. My first ever. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Yes. We have an 1888 Indian head penny. Look how thin that is. Man. Stay tuned. See what else we can find. Oh, I'm so excited. So this hole, we got this piece of iron. I have no idea what that would have went to. But the cool thing that came out of that, this nice, nice little piece of pottery right here. That's pretty awesome looking. Got some nice detail to it. Well, continue ourselves down that way. See what else we can find. See if the next target. Well, this signal came in a good 17 and 18. And as I was pulling my shovel back, I seen something round right here. Let's see what do we got. Oh, we got a shotgun head stamp. Give me a minute, we'll clean it off. Try to get some information. Stay tuned. Well, from what I can make out, it says new club, 12 gauge. Has some writing up there at the top. Can't make that out right now. That's an awesome find. Well, we're, we're getting closer to the tree. And I found buttons and buckles around this tree. This is where the old barn used to sit. So we're going to make our way down through here, see what else we can find. So stay tuned. Well, I'm going to show you this signal. As you can see, it's three or four inches down in there. And this is what we have. I don't know what it is, but this is what we have. Ah. Is it a buckle? Hold on for a minute. That is awesome. That's another buckle. I would say that went to horse tech. If that wasn't a saddle strap or a saddle buckle. That's pretty amazing. And you've seen how it rang up. You know, a good 29.32. Excellent. And uh, we haven't quite made it to the tree yet. But we're moving along. See you at the next good signal. Now this signal rang up. Between a 15 and an 18, we got something round. What do we have? Ah, we got another shotgun head stamp. Awesome. Now we still haven't made it to the tree yet. Well, see it's the next good target. All right, I'm gonna need your help for this one. Two shotgun head stamps, the Remington New Club. Somebody put a nail through them. What do you think they used that for? I wonder what purpose that served to do that. And there's only a couple inches down in the ground. Well, leave it in the comments if you know. Well, this signal came up 19 to 22. We've got some roundness in the hole. Let's pick her out of there, see what we got. 
Oh, we got a coin. Hold on. Yes, we do. We have another Indian head penny. And I believe that says 1866. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Two in one day. That is so cool. You can see I hit it with my shovel down here a little bit. But amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now we're still around this tree. This is where the old barn used to be. So stay tuned. We're making our way back up that way towards the other barns. See what else we can find. Amazing. Stay tuned. Our next signal came up 22 to 23. As I was pulling up my shovel, I see something round. Let's see what we got. I have no idea. I have no idea. Let me clean it off a little bit. Let's see what we have. Stay tuned. I would say it's horse tack of some sort. Look at the design on that. That is beautiful. I wonder if that was handmade. That is, that is cool. Well, see you at the next target. That signal is, I don't know, six, seven inches down in there. We pulled out half of a horseshoe. That's getting dark on us. I'm going to try to find one more good signal before we lose daylight. So stay tuned. Well, this is a few inches down in the ground. It rang up really good. I guess that went to a wagon at some point. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, we're running out of daylight pretty quick, but we're going to try to find one more good signal. Now stay tuned. So this is our first signal. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure it used to be a pendant of some sort. Because right there you can see where it attached to something. So it was about... Three inches in the ground, rang up a good solid 13 to 15. So we're going to continue and see what else we can find. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> it's the owner's dog. <laughs> All right, this is our next signal. Uh, I guess that's off of farm equipment. So I got another good signal. You can see that hole's uh, a couple inches down there. And the sun's probably not going to help me any, but we got roundness right there in the hole. Well, let's pull it and see what we got. I believe we have ourselves a button. Hold on, I'll clean it off. Pretty sure it's a flat button. So what we have, we have ourselves a button. That's pretty awesome. Now well, this item was, I don't know, two inches, three inches in the ground. And we got what treasure hunting with Swifty would say, a whatcha hoozy. Whoop, I'll knock it off here. I have no idea. Pretty cool looking. But we're continuing on up this field here. I want to get the house in there. I'm going to continue up this field here. See what else we can find. Stay tuned. This signal came up a good 23-24. And this is what we have. It's a rivet or piece off of clothing. Let me clean it up a little bit. I'll get back to you here in a second. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're going to say a rivet. I mean, it's off of a wagon or something. Uh, this property dates back to mid 1800s, so let's continue on. Oh, a couple inches down in the ground. 
We're back over here at the farm. We're on this side of the tree. Got a good 18 19 signal. And we got something round right there. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I can't believe that. That's my third Indian off this property. Hold on while I clean it up. That's pretty sweet right there. That's 1900. So I got an 1866, an 1888, and now a 1900. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Out of this hole, we got half of a horseshoe. Awesome. Let's continue on. Oh, well, this signal here rang up in a high tone range, 25, 26, 27. I'm not sure what we have. And down here by where the big tree is, where the old barn used to sit. Hold on, give me a minute. I'll clean it up a little bit and see if we can find anything on it. Stay tuned. Well, no markings on it, no writing on it. I'm not sure what that was. Pretty cool looking though. Stuck on my glove. That's yeah, pretty cool looking. Well, we're gonna hunt around this tree some more and see what else we can find. Well, stay tuned. That's well, coming along. I had a screaming signal. And this is what we found. I guess it goes like a lock to a uh, wagon or something like that. That's pretty cool. Now we've moved away from the big tree down there. We're back up here in the field near where the old house used to be. So, stay tuned. Well, here we go. Found a wrench and a bottle. That's pretty awesome. Well, we had a good hunt here at the farm this evening. We found three IHP pennies, one from 1888, one from 1866, and one from 1900. I wanna take a minute and thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Until next time, take care.